Well, welcome back, guys. We are talking relationships and breaking the silence. So some partners avoid conflict because they think they're keeping the peace. They tell themselves that whatever is bothering them, maybe it's not worth bringing up. Maybe it's no big deal, but turns out this could actually be causing more problems. Joining us today to give us some relationship advice is my friend and licensed professional counselor, Natasha Fields. Natasha, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. This is so important and a subject that you were posting about on Instagram the other yes. day, and it really caught my attention because I was like this is so true when it comes to relationships we yes. feel like you know what I just don't I'm not even gonna talk about it we're not gonna bring it up and we're not even gonna fight about it but that not but that might not be the solution right. to the issue right we have to talk about it one of the biggest issues in relationships is communication yes and so it's so important that we put our big girl clothes on and make sure that we have the, com the conversations that we need to have in order to make sure the relationship moves forward yes and when it comes to fear Natasha of saying okay I want to bring it up I think it's time to talk about it but how do I even go about it how do I even begin to open the conversation to really get some dialogue started we start with I statements. Okay. I feel, mm -hmm. and and then you state your feelings, and then you explain how you feel. We do not start with blame. Okay. We do not start with shame. We start with owning our emotions. I feel sad because we've missed um, time together. Mm -hmm. I feel lonely because I haven't been around you. So we start with I feel, mm -hmm. followed by um, what we're dealing with. Yes, and Natasha, in contrast to starting the relationship with saying, well, you're not you're not taking me out on date night anymore, or you're not trying to spend as much time with me, that's where the blame comes in. Yes. And I, can't your partner feel a little attacked by that and then in turn shut down? That's exactly. And then nothing gets accomplished. That's exactly what happens. If someone feels attacked, they'll begin to shut down. Um, it's called stonewalling, mm -hmm. where they literally build an emotional wall so that you can't get through. And it is counterproductive. Yeah. Um, it's not going to get you anywhere. And so we have to verbalize our emotions and give options for the resolution of the issue, but we cannot stonewall, we cannot stick our head in the sand, and we have to communicate. Yes, and Natasha, something really important too is if a relationship, if a couple is trying to talk about it, but every time they try, they just keep fighting and it just mm -hmm. escalates. Could they maybe go to couples counseling? I kind of mm -hmm. want to get the idea out there that there's no shame in getting maybe a little bit of help, having like a mediator in there with you, just to kind of sort your problems with you. Right, there is no shame. And often we, we, we have to remember that couples come from completely different families, mm -hmm. completely different upbringings, and they're looking at life through completely different lenses. Yes. And so going to a therapist, going to a counselor, talking to someone will help you see life through your partner's lens. Yes, which is very important. I think that whenever you say, okay, you know what? This is how it's making me feel, mm -hmm. but how is it making them feel? And putting yourself in their shoes. Yes. I found that to be really helpful in relationships is just to think, how is it affecting them? And stop thinking of yourself so much, which is a hard thing to do. It is because we are naturally selfish. Yes. We Self-preservation is the number one thing. Um, to, to keep ourselves alive and safe. And so it's very difficult when we're coupled to get out of self-preservation. And remember, it's no longer me, it's we. Yes. It's no longer I, it's us. And um, we have to work together to achieve the common goal. Yes, and going back to what you said earlier, Natasha, about starting with the I statement, um, something that I was reading earlier today was mm -hmm. really being able to state your fears and mm -hmm. the things that are bothering you very clearly and not expecting your partner to read your mind. Like exactly. you should know how I feel, you should know why I'm mad. No, they shouldn't. You should right. be able to talk about it, right? Right, should is one of my least favorite words because it gives, um, it, it makes it seem as though something sh that can't exist is there right um, your partner cannot read your mind your partner cannot um, understand where you're coming from remember your partner is looking at life through a different lens so it's very important that you verbalize use your words and do not blame or shame yes that is great advice Natasha for our couples that might be watching us right now what can they go do today maybe just go sit somewhere what it would be like a nice little thing to do today for themselves so they can start talking about their problems maybe open up the conversation I think that is it would be really wise to go on the internet and find some icebreakers if you just google icebreakers things will come up conversation starters and start soft start soft don't delve into mm -hmm. um, deeply into the big issues right. start soft how was your day what do, where do you see yourself in 10 years 
What are your dreams? What did you want to be when you were a little yeah. boy or a little girl? So that you can build and mend that relationship. Yes. And then as you develop the relationship and as you get closer, um, you can go into the deeper stuff. But I wouldn't jump right into the to the deep stuff right out the gate. Baby steps, right? That's <laughs> yes. what it takes. And then you can talk about the big stuff. You can certainly get there. Guys, we hope that you use this advice and relationships. And Tasha, we know that they are a constant de decision. They take a lot of work. Yes. And we hope that everyone, it's not about giving up and just saying, you know what, it's too hard. Right. You have to really, you really put the building blocks and, and get to work. Yes, you have to sit down in it and make the decision that you want the relationship to last. Put your best foot forward and try to look at life through your partner's yes. lens. You're the best. Thank you so much for being with us Thank today. You. Thank it's you. It's always a pleasure having you guys. Don't go anywhere, especially if, you get, if you've got a DIY project on your hands. I'm going to tell you where to get more bang for your buck when it comes to materials, and we'll be right back.